In the documentary Quilty Painting in the Shadows, director and producer Catherine Hunter creates an open door into a world that's unavailable to most of us. A highly specialised place of systematic procedures and the complex technical knowledge that is the province of great artists. Given unprecedented access, Hunter follows the painter Ben Quilty, one of Australia's most popular and acclaimed contemporary painters, known for his advocacy and moral inquiry as much as his art, as he researches and then creates a major work about the Mile Creek Massacre. The carnage occurred late in the afternoon on Sunday 10 June 1838, when a gang of 11 convict and ex-convict stockmen, led by a squatter, brutally slaughtered a group of some 28 Aboriginal men, women and children, who were camped peacefully next to the station huts on the Mile Creek cattle station in northern New South Wales. One of countless acts of barbarity that took place right across the country from the earliest days of British settlement, it's the only time in Australia's history that white men were arrested, charged and, and hanged for the massacre of Aborigines. Hunter, who's been filming Quilty since he came to national attention, when his obsession with both masculinity and Tirana cars helped him win the Brett Whiteley Travelling Scholarship in 2006, intimately follows the artist from the time he begins a series of studies for the eventual painting at the location of the massacre, through to the eventual completion of the huge work. It begins as drawings, but is eventually transmuted, becoming one of his signature Rorschach paintings, a technique derived from the psychological ink blot tests, where the original painted images are both damaged and replicated by the painter pressing one panel onto another while the paint is still wet. It's a fascinating process. The film is clever and revealing, empathetic but never hagiographic. Hunter and her cinematographer and editor, Bruce Inglis, subtly and seamlessly interweaving this story with both a biography and a, an analysis of Quilty's other major works. Using, using some of her early footage, Hunter uses the assembly and hanging of a major retrospective of Quilty's work that began touring this country earlier this year as a fluid framework for her film. Beautifully scored by composers Amanda Brown and Damien Lane, their soundtrack spontaneously recorded to represent the textural layers and abrasive flourishes on Quilty's paintings. Four stars. This is beautiful colour. It's extraordinary. It's an um, amazing pigment. It's right through Australia. You often find Indigenous people using this as a highlight colour. That mauve that comes from eucalyptus oil and heat and ochre in the soil is, is here in this country, I think.